here we are going to cook up a wheel but not just the usual circular wheel that we have but a triangular wheel so I'm going to start with a polygon with three sides and we'll define it using its edge say like this so we have an equilateral triangle here and uh, then we draw a circular arc <coughs> with by defining its start and the center so let's start it here and use this vertex as a center so the side becomes its radius so this is our arc then we are going to rotate this arc and make uh, two more copies of this so let's rotate it by say 120 degrees so I will pick this arc and rotate it about the center of this triangle then we are going to get rid of this triangle and just keep the area that is defined that is bound by these three arcs so let's flood that so we have a shape next we take this shape and make a solid out of it so we are going to extrude it so let's extrude it by say one unit like this here and this is our wheel okay the solid from which we'll be making the wheel next we'll view this wheel in wireframe and place some shapes over here and then we are going to use these shapes to cut through this solid so we will have um, a webbing or these arms that a typical wheel has so i'll select this solid i'll select these shapes and just cut through so we have made our wheel a little lighter now we'll smoothen things out so fill it uh, a few edges and we'll have a nice wheel so this is our final uh, form of the wheel over here and uh, we are going to make a copy of this so we'll have two wheels okay. say I'm going to place it over here and then just to emphasize that it works in any position I'm going to give it a rotation say I'll rotate this by say 60 degrees about the center like this so when viewed from here the two wheels are in two different orientations so these are the two wheels we have and uh, on top of that I have placed a plank and just to see things clearly I have made it little transparent let's have some more light here okay and uh, then we are going to set it in motion so you will notice as these two wheels or you might want to call them as rollers roll uh, the distance between the top plank and the ground that always remains the same so the top plank is not going to tilt you can keep a glass of water and nothing will spill uh, this is good this is an interesting concept but at the same time it uh, warns us about an error that we could commit while measuring diameters that we might take a part measure its diameter using two clamping surfaces like uh, the top plank and the uh, ground here and the distance between them may turn out to be the same in all uh, sort of possible ways or uh, directions and yet it need not be a perfect cylinder so beware <laughs>